At a time when women were expected to know their place, Victoria Woodhull blazed the trail as a fierce advocate for women's suffrage and empowerment. Born Victoria Claflin in Ohio, 1838, she was the daughter of a salesman who traveled the country selling snake oil. When she was just 15 years old, she married Channing Woodhull, who was addicted to alcohol and morphine. He went on to physically abuse her and fail to support their family. In an era when divorce was considered shameful for women, especially mothers, after 11 years of suffering, Victoria made the brave decision to end her marriage. She believed in free love, meaning people should only stay in relationships that made them happy. In 1868, Victoria moved to New York, where she opened a salon with her sister, Tennessee, where people were free to talk about the issues of the day. She also acted as a spiritual advisor to wealthy New Yorkers, including business mogul Cornelius Vanderbilt. Victoria believed that financial independence was the key to female independence. So in 1870, the sisters opened America's first female-owned brokerage, which only served women. With the money they made, they launched their own newspaper, publishing articles on radical topics like women's rights, sexuality, and spiritualism. As a result, Victoria's profile grew. She even addressed Congress on the subject of women's suffrage in 1871. That same year, Victoria became the first woman to run for president, but the press attacked her campaign. And when Victoria published an article revealing that one of her critics, a reverend, had had an affair, she was arrested on obscenity charges, prosecuted, and even spent time in jail. Her reputation suffered, even among her supporters. But Victoria continued to fight for women's rights until her death in 1927. How do women stand up for their rights today? 